Hi, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to control a Windows service from an ASP.NET MVC uh, 5 project. Uh, control that means start it and stop it. So um, let's go ahead. Uh, so I've already created a project called Boom Service Control, uh, which is an MVC uh, project with an empty template. So let's go ahead and create a new controller. I'm gonna call it um, Home Controller. So I'm gonna use the, the uh, I'm gonna create the index view. So we are going to need to just uh, one view. So as you, uh, add view index, and that's all. We will get back later to the view. Okay. So I'm going to use um, I'm going to add two actions: public action result. Public action result um, star service. So this will return redirect to action. The action will be the same page index, and I will add another pro another action like this one. So the, this one will be called stop service. And will be redirected to the same page too. So now we are going to add. Um, sorry, uh, the most important thing here is um, a, a configuration that we are going to add to our web config file. So add this line to your web config file. So system.web. Um, so under system.web, system.web, system, system web. Where is system that way? Okay, here add this line of code. So we need to impersonate um, uh, our application so this so uh, it can uh, start and stop and manipulate the the um, um, this Windows service. So impersonate set to true username with the name of the user of this computer of your computer. And uh, the password is the password of the session of the, that machine. Okay, so close this file here, and now let's uh, don't forget to add the uh, the attributes here. And now let's create our um, the method that will uh, start and stop the the, the services. Okay, so the first one is uh, private void. So private void um, stop. That means stop the service. Okay, so um, and another thing that you need to add, I forgot to add. Um, you need to reference to uh, uh, to an assembly. So uh, go to uh, right click on your project, add. Reference, uh, go to framework uh, system. I think I already uh, have already added the the, uh, the reference to my project uh, service process. So add a reference to system that service process to your project and hit OK. So so you can use uh, some um, method and some classes. So here inside my um, my uh, method so service service controller so I have to have the right using statement new service controller and here you have to specify the name of your the service that you will be controlling. So um, I have prepared a little service for for the purpose. So the service is called backup service. Backup service. Okay, so. And uh, then we have to check. So I see that status. 
if service controller status dot running then time span timeout time span dot from milliseconds Okay, so uh, this is the stop uh, method for the ser or for the service. The next one is the star method. So private void star. So uh, we have the same uh, code here. So and then we have the condition. So. If a C dot uh, status is different to serve from service control that status dot running and that status is different from service controller status dot star pending. So here I'm going to copy and paste the same code. Let's see that star, start, start please. And finally, SC dot uh, wait for status, service control status dot. Uh, Running and the timeout, this timeout object semicolon. And finally, the method uh, I will add the method that we return the status the check and return the status of the service. So, uh, public service controller status, so I'm gonna call it server status, service status, sorry, not server. Okay, so um, service controller status, service controller, I think. So, service controller, service controller. Oh, my God. New service controller, and you have to specify the name of the service, which is backup service. Too many, and finally return sc dot status semicolon, and then we will put. I'm going to use a view bag dot status to string. So here I will um, retrieve the status of the service here and put it inside the view bag and display it in the in the view. Okay, so now let's jump to the view. Uh, I have already uh, prepared the view, so I would not want to waste my time uh, typing some uh, easy and uh, uh, code. So uh, I will copy and paste the code. So okay, so this is the the the, the, the code inside the view. Some uh, simple and easy logic. So here uh, the view back will display the, the, the status of the service. So there is here uh, a condition on the, the on the on this variable. So if 
the status of the server is, is running so um, uh, before that the view will contain two buttons a start button and a stop button the first one is for starting the further the service and the second one is for stopping the service so if condition here if, the, if the, the, the current status of the service is running so the star button will be disabled and the stop button will be enabled and the, the, the uh, and vice versa if the, the service is stopped the stop button will be disabled and the star button will be enabled this is too simple and easy okay so um, okay so now uh, we will test our application So uh, this is our service. I will refresh the list. So the service is not running. So properties, it has the service added. That means in French that means that the service is not running. So I will. So the interface here shows that the service, the, the current status of the service is stopped. So when the service is stopped, the start button is uh, active, and the sorry, this button must be stopped. So I have to change it. Why did it not? Okay, so I fixed the problem that uh, we're in the, the view. So uh, now let's take a look at the service so the service is not running if i hit star the the, the status of the server changed on the view so the service now is running let's check out if really the server is running so as you can see if i refresh the interface so as you can see on code execution that means in french the service is running in execution and uh, it is uh, running if i hit the stop button the, the status change on the view the service run the current status is stopped now and uh, if we take a look and refresh here then before and um, check the status of the service we can see that the service is RT that means stop in French so this was um, all about this tutorial today I hope you like this tutorial and uh, if you like this tutorial uh, hit the, the like button and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, see you in the next tutorial bye bye